Oh yeah, you know what time it is. Because we do it every day. Anybody arriving bright and early? You already know where you are. You know what's going on. You know this is Channel CGB and you know we play Magic Duels. Ah. Alright. Today we're going to tear off a particular band-aid. And that band-aid is called Elves. I don't always say nice things about elves. If you've been on my channel, I like to say that it takes no intelligence to make an elf deck. <laughs> I say, like, there's no intelligence in playing an elf deck. Sometimes you just play an elf deck and you just win. Or if you play against it, as I often do, you play against an elf deck and you just lose. Well, that hasn't changed. But this is my version of elves, and I think we all thought elves was getting hosed. It had nothing uh, going for it in Battle for Zendikar, really. Like, gained nothing. And things got worse for it, because the ramp deck got better. And then, uh, we found out Jagged Scar Archers was getting removed from the format. Getting cut completely. And I think my first thought was, elves are just dead. It's over. But then, we got the new cards. And wouldn't you know it, there are some elves in there. Uh, this one has to be one of the better ones. Sylvan Advocate. That's a good elf. This is not an elf. This is a human warrior werewolf. It's got a lot of types. Elf isn't one of them. But I think you'll see why this card is in the deck. It can lead to some really explosive uh, turn fours and turn fives where you play a whole bunch of creatures because of the howler, making your elves be cheaper. It's pretty awesome. And uh, late in the game, you can just activate that ability and dig for your shaman of the packs and other awesome elves. So, yeah. Uh, nope, you get back in there. That's why three of those humans are in here to help out the elf cause. Now, Sylvan Ranger, it's an elf. It's just 1-1, one, one, but the ability to fetch a land is pretty handy. It lets us curve out more often than we deserve. The rest of the sh uh, Nissa, that's... I mean, she's a planeswalker who's an elf, so of course she helps out her elf friends. The new Nissa is better for this deck than the old Nissa. It, uh... Just being able to plus one, plus one anthem your team is pretty intense in this deck. And um, this isn't an elf either, but it's the Gitrog monster. And sometimes you just absolutely have to drop this guy, draw a bunch of cards, and make life better when all else is failing in elf land. I mean, sometimes, sometimes they're going to languish you. Sometimes they're going to Radiant Flames you, and they're going to be like, I've got this elf thing under control. And then you're like, well, I brought a frog horror to an elf fight. And they're going to be like, that's really big, and you're drawing a bunch of cards. And guess what? You reboot, no problem. Um, I also think that right now you have to run this little Sunblade guy. I don't really like it, but the deck doesn't curve out very well with no one drops whatsoever. And the Anthem effect does matter. Um, it just... That and uh, the two Might of the Masses, I, I've kind of just liked the deck better with them than without them. And the one planes for the activations, uh, you can get away with this now without messing up your mana too much because of Sylvan Ranger. Basically gives you four more ways to go find your planes. And then we have, so we have the one planes, the one swamp, because if you have two it can mess up your mana base. You want as many green sources as possible. Then we got the forest, we got the quagmire, Westvale Abbey. This is another card that didn't necessarily um, didn't necessarily scream elves to me, but it is very good in elves because sometimes the board gets gummed up. You're trying to end the game. You usually have five dorky little elves lying around. Uh, make a big indestructible flyer, win that way, and you can usually sacrifice tokens and like little value guys like visionary that didn't cost you much in the first place. And uh, two evolving wild. So. We're going to spin this particular wheel and go see how elves d do today. Somebody go get Coexist. He always gives me crap. He wants me to play elves. Somebody get him into the chat right now. Or uh, we'll just add this video to his all-time favorites playlist on YouTube. And then we won't have to play elves anymore. And uh, Bounce, welcome. Uh, you are welcome for the plug. It was very fun watching your stream, so I hope you do it some more. Nighthawk, super mod, welcome to the party. Welcome all. Welcome all. Let's see. Who else is playing Magic Duels on this beautiful day? I always... Now that I can, like, monitor the 
what's going on on Twitch, I do. Hey, there's somebody with uh, 18 viewers. I don't even know this person. Etis Clutch? Etis Clutch? Etis Clutch? Anyway, damn Daniel Cocker Spaniel. If his name's Daniel too, that's pretty funny. Because that means we are both named Daniel. And we both like duels. What's he playing? It looks like he's trying to mill people. So if mill is your game and elves are not, maybe uh, maybe that's the channel for you. Interesting. Yeah, it looks like a pretty old school like uh, uh, Saltai tutelage deck. And I say old school because I think I built almost that like a deck with all these cards in it like the first week of Origins something like that hey Norplay what's up <laughs> what is happening dude welcome 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 today is elf day and uh oh wait I got this hold on I'm all set I'm like really prepared today boom deck list whenever somebody asks for the deck list I'm just gonna hit my uh paste button and go boom deck list it's gonna be great <laughs> I do have um, an Esper, not exactly a Drago, but a very close to a Drago type list. It, um, I, I do want to play that on here at some point. It's, it's all right. Um, <laughs> it has Reflector Mage, so it's fantastic. <laughs> Nighthawk's been trying to blue mill. That'll end your win streak. Norplay's got 11%. You got a ways to go, man. But the journey, uh, the journey, is long but worth it. So who we got? Lycan Lord. I wonder if they're playing wolves. No, no, no. They're playing goblins. Guess they want some gold. Being on the on the draw really stinks right here. This may be a tough match. Um, just really don't like being on the draw in this scenario because our hand isn't necessarily super fast. <laughs> That's really brutal. So you play a deck that has expose evil press for answers and adverse conditions to annoy them to death? Hey, that's one way to do it. Our opponent might just be hanging out with one land. If that's the case, it's going to be interesting to see what the heck we can do here. I guess I will Visionary this turn, because next turn I can play Duskwatch with a Might of the Masses up to keep a um, Fiery Impulse from kicking my butt. And hopefully it also makes it more likely to uh, hit our land drop. Okay, like I said, we're going to make sure those lands are ready to roll. What do they need lands for? Stick on one. Stick on one. I always hate being on the draw against, um... Like, Elves shouldn't be a bad matchup with red aggro, but man, when I'm on the draw against it, I just... Ugh. <laughs> Here comes that Balloon Brigade! It's a human in an Elf dot deck, not a human in a Goblin deck. Then it would be kill him and eat him. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. Don't worry about it. Dusquatch Recruiter, he, he has a really good job in this deck, trust me. He he does work. He works he works for his his supper. Um but I don't think I'm gonna play him right now. I think I'm gonna play this guy. Bigger uh bigger booty. But it's all about getting bigger booty on the battlefield. And let's see what our opponent wants to do. No, he's got a handful of spells. <laughs> yeah, if only Jagged Scar Archers were here to hold back that Balloon Brigade, but too busted. Too busted. They had to balance the four. Oh, no! No! No, don't even... Not, not pre-combat. No! Not like this. Not like this. Okay. <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty encouraging that he had absolutely nothing to do. Uh, well, I mean, I guess... Does Piker count as something? Let's be real. All right. Let's get wide. Stretch our elvish uh, wings with the Huntmaster. Boom. And see where this goes from here. 
So red aggro. Come on, make make your ancestors, your goblin orky ancestors proud. That I'm not proud. I am not impressed. What the heck is this? <laughs> Throwing knife. So we've got somebody with a pretty fresh uh, take here on the uh, goblin deck. Now, uh, hmm. I think a few options, but I think we're just going to go super duper wide. I think that's what's going to happen. Because what's goblins going to do to us? What are they going to do to us? Have I read the top ten cards? You mean, uh, the, those frickin' vampire twins and the spirit with the weird, like, uh, death effect? Yeah, uh, that's what, that's what we call people who don't play the game getting paid money to write articles about the game. That's what we call that. That's what we call that. <laughs> Us? I didn't know you were in the orc clan, BBB. That sounds a little aggressive for you. Don't you have, like, some passive uh, behavior to accomplish? <laughs> All right, here he comes. Here, oh, he's not, he is not holding back any longer. He's had enough, and he's coming for our blood. The Lycan Lord surges forward, realizing that he's got no chance in the long game. No chance. He's going to target me with a throwing knife. He's going to keep his throwing knife. Oh, the the intense, the intensity we have here. Um, You are going to kill him. Nobody's going to worry about the stupid arsonist. You're gonna block there. You're gonna block there. Actually, no. You're gonna block there. We'll just give him the two tokens, because we'll make more. I'm not even gonna use my Might of the Masses here. We'll save it to kill him. This is a bit much uh, for me. I, uh, I, I, I just, no. I, this is gonna get ugly, is what this is gonna get. This is gonna get disgusting. <laughs> it's like, we're not even afraid, right? We're not even afraid of Radiant Flames. He's mono-red. <laughs> you get a block. And you get a block. Blocks all around from Oprah. All right. Get down there. Make me some more elves. Elves are apparently a very renewable resource. Yeah, I love it. Okay. Can we just kill him this turn? <laughs> It's kind of a ridiculous sounding thing to say, but let's find out, shall we? It might not actually be as far off as you think. Attack. You get an elf. You up oh, no blocks. Might of the freaking masses, dog. How is it how you doing? Boom. <laughs> Elves taking out that red aggro goblin dot deck. Uh, gotta go under the junk though. I mean, that's throwing knife dog. Not impressed. <laughs> I got elves for days. I got elves for everybody who wants some elves. <laughs> Come get some. Now, I do realize, I know very well right now, that it is a certain holiday for people who partake of a certain substance. I am not one of those, so if I sound a little, um, elevated, it is not because I am partaking in the 420 party, but you are welcome to. I do not get angry at those who do. I do not get, I do not get all condoning, but I don't get all judging. So, if anybody is having a good time today, as several of my friends are, you are welcome to hang out and watch some games and have some fun. <sighs> you know what? Everybody's got their own uh, elevating substance. For me, it's trail mix with a whole bunch of dark chocolate and peanut butter. And I get plenty excited about that. <sighs> and uh, some vitamin water. Because I am the scout master, about as innocent as they come. I still eat trail mix, and I drink vitamin water. 
It doesn't get it doesn't get more straight edge than this. Somebody tell CM Punk I'm using his gimmick so he can get angry with me. Gimme damn Oreos! I got a message from Gimme Damn Oreos. Let me see what he wants. Maybe he wants to battle. Maybe he wants a battle. Hello. Hi. You know when you send me messages that are like hello, you're gonna get hi in return. It's really straightforward like that. Not very complicated. Alright. Hey, we're in. We got a game. Let's see what this chick hanging out. Uh, uh, what What is this place? Gondor? <laughs> I think I call it Gondor. It's not quite... It's too blue for Rivendell. Like, there's too many clouds. It's definitely in the clouds. So it's either the Eerie or Gondor. That's what it is. And this... I don't know what I don't know what this creature with the bow is. I mean, that's like Legolas when he gets like really old. Like he's he's like a thousand years old already or something. Now he's like ten thousand years old. That's like ugly forehead all stretched out Legolas. <laughs> Gondor calls for aid, and Rohan shall answer. Yeah. <laughs> But Rivendell is going to wage some war on Gondor, is the flavor we're dropping right here. Rivendell's coming for that ass. <laughs> oh, Lord Almighty. Way too much trail mix today. <laughs> Alright, this hand isn't that good. It's getting better, but we have no like high-impact elves. And you really need... Um, the high-impact elves are ways to get them, like uh, Evolutionary Leap, Duskwatch Recruiter, Huntmasters, the you know big guy, um, Dwenin, um, Nyssa. You need the high-impact cards. And these are all the weaklings. These are all the... These are all the... These are all the weak cards of the set so far. But it's okay. We'll still get plenty... plenty wide and cause some drama. <laughs> D Cindy six 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 BR. What kind of a name is that? Oh no! The tutelage has come. The tutelage has come forth for us. Look out! He must be uh, watching that other dude stream. All righty. I see what this is. I see what I see what shenanigans you're pulling now. Um, now is he gonna sweep me? It's an island, okay. Uh, doesn't look like I'm gonna get swept up anytime soon, so let's just go super wide. I see what you're trying to do to me. I see your shenanigans. I see you over there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> XXX has shot snipes. 360 XX. You forgot to spell it with like different capitalization issues, dude. You gotta, you gotta remember. You capital, you like have to capitalize every other letter and do some really weak stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> there you go. Get, get those crazy. I mean, covert go blue. That's a real solid name. Um, let's get. Nisa. <sighs> Boom. Let's put him on the fog watch right away. Let's just let's just give him no quarter. Bring the pain. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> what you got? What? He concedes. No! I was busy destroying you! Uh, I'm leaving, though. It's never worth it against the AI. They take forever to make decisions, and then they do the dumbest things. Uh, alrighty, so down goes... Simic... Mill? I guess? I mean, I don't feel like we hardly knew him, but that's... You know, this is this, is this elf deck, right? Okay? We have no removal. None. No bounce. No counters. No control. We have no control, man. This is complete, and I mean complete, uh, chaos and anarchy that we're running with these elves. We have no... We have nothing. 
We've got 31 creatures. We've got two enchantments. We've got two pump spells. We've got a planeswalker. We have that's it. No sorceries. <laughs> no instance. None of that spell crap. We're just elf the face. That's all we do. Elves to the face. Finish it. That that's that's the strategy. And if you play elves, <clears throat> stop pretending that you're playing something else. Just, you know, take the removal out. You don't want a bone splinters. This is about having elves, not sacrificing elves. You don't want Omnixilus in there. Take that guy out. This isn't about killing creatures and drawing cards. This is about elfing their face as a verb. I mean it. Elfing the face in a totally verby way. That's what we're gonna do with this deck. That's what it's for. That's why it's a, that's why it's here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And we are off. We are on the draw again. Our opponent is dropping that swamp. Let's go get languished. That's what we're here to do now. We're going to go get languished today. Elusive Tormentors. <laughs> Congratulations on your Elusive Tormentors, Nighthawk. That is not a card I've figured out how to uh, make into a worthy uh, component of any deck. Um, if he's gonna remove it, let's get the damage in first. He might remove it in response to the elite. Get in there, Sunblade. You're doing God's work, picking picking away for a damage. You're going to town. All right. Here comes the Dwenin. I've got three creatures. What do you have? Three lands. That's impressive. Would you like to read the bones? I'd be really happy about it. Maybe you'd like to anguish on making. I would also be impressed by that. Ah, uh, well, I mean, I guess we can do this first main or not. We'll attack first. We'll attack first. Here comes the pain. Arr. <laughs> and here comes the Vigi. I guess I could have drawn a planes for one more damage is the only reason to play visionary first main, but I'm mostly worried about his removal. But guys, get ready. Cross your fingers. Here's the languish. It's a languish turn. It's languish turn. Are you ready? Get ready. Wait for it. Our opponent is really slow rolling it, but we know he's got it. It'll be too easy if he doesn't. Crumbling vestige. Here it comes. Picking his color. It's black. It is... Oh! That's not Languish. That's Kalitas. What up, Holmes? What up, Kalitas? What up, gangsta? Um, yeah, that's all the Huntmasters in the deck. One, two, three. I guess we have to stop attacking, because Kalitas is a big pain in the butt. And that is going to make his Languish even juicier, because he'll get a zombie for every one of our creatures he kills. So this might be a tough one, but our deck only goes one speed. So don't try to slow me down now. All right, white, white, black, white, black, crumbling vestige. What you doing? What you gonna do to me? You got a handful of gas. You have some more answers. Witness the end. Right. Hmm. Well, I don't like doing it, but I guess it has to be these two, since there's no guarantee I can cast that Bellower on time. We're just going to have to draw our Shaman of the Pack the hard way. Alright. Planes would be great. Or a way to fetch one. And another Sunblade. Uh, let's see. Gain three, lose five, and an elf, not worth it. But we'll just keep it getting wider. He'll have to find a sweeper. He's not playing as if he has one, so we'll just keep making him find one. Ah, oh, that Kalitas, though. Where's that removal when you need it? Oh, wait. I don't put any in this deck. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Um, so we have pump spells that we could draw, like Might of the Masses. Uh, planes would, or a white source would give us access to Sunblade Elf's ability, which would also make for quite a hit. And he's a discard deck. He okay. And he's awakening a land. Alrighty then. Mm -hmm. Hey, there's a Duskwatch. That's handy. Um, so let's get him out there. He'll help us dig into a bit more play. Or more action. As long as our opponent uh, doesn't uh, not cast a spell. <laughs> Could be interesting. But it'll help us recover from those discard spells. Which our opponent seems very fond of. I mean, this is their discard deck, I suppose. There was somebody talking about making a discard deck on the stream yesterday. I wonder if this is that person. Or somebody who thinks that person is brilliant. Yeah, I know. Uh, turn 3 Brimaz, or anything, like in this case, turn 3 Kalitas. It's like, well, my aggressive strategy was fun. I guess now we're going to play the burn strategy where we try to draw the... Um, we have to draw Might of the Masses, or we have to draw Shaman of the Pack. But if he casts Planar Outburst or Languish before that happens, he's going to have so many zombies. It's going to be sick. <laughs> Here they come. Um, alrighty. I mean, if he has it, he has it. There's no reason to... Uh, I, I have to at least make sure I take down Kalitas first. <laughs> All right, do, 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 like that, I suppose. Uh, even better. Um, um, one, two, three, four. If you can kill both of those, one, two, three. You can only kill one. Yeah, die. <laughs> What's he got? Make a stand? That would be a pain. And now he gets one zombie. If he has planar outburst now, I'm... Oh my gosh. Okay, he's a bad magic player. <laughs> That's... I'm glad he doesn't know how to play this game. I'm very relieved. I'm very, very relieved. Alrighty. Um... Very happy. <laughs> Let's see if we can now save this uh, game from the wreckage. <laughs> yeah, if he had cast that Languish while his Kalitas was in play, he would have made about 50 zombies. Because you do get the 2-2s two even if Kalitas dies from the Languish. So, yeah. <laughs> he would have had a lot of zombies on the battlefield right this minute. And I, we would be dead. Right. So yeah, if we could roll back in this game, it will be because our opponent doesn't know how to use Languish and Kalitas. If we don't come back in this game, it will be because Kalitas did all the work. All the work. But we'll find out. Would have been really nice to draw this card a turn or two ago. That's another reason we just throw all of our elves on the battlefield, because sometimes, ah, uh, Sometimes Ormondal the Prince comes out to play. <laughs> so come on. Come on. Come on. What you gonna do? Good old 2015 reminiscing. So, yep, chat is talking about duels in 2015. Once upon a time, a long time ago. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. You made me sacrifice my Dwinnen Leet. And now he's got creatures and I don't. That's bad. Gonna need some draws. How come you, that gave me black mana? That was weird. <laughs> Alright, bring in the pain. That is a critter. 
if he doesn't have a removal spell for it, it's a real house of a critter. Uh, but it's on him now. If he can keep removing stuff, he shall win. And El shall fail in a miserable pile of elvish dirt. My goodness, though. This guy. He is a careful... He is a careful son of a bitch. Anka Parkle. Anka Parkle. Anka Parkle. Like, he is a, he is a, he is a subtle. He is gentle. He is uh, minding his plays. Yes, there you go. Thought not. Awesome. Awesome. Take the cards from my hand. <laughs> you got me. Ah. Now, does he know how to do the menace trick? Well, he knows the menace trick. He doesn't know how to use his languish, and he doesn't know how to use his kalitas, but he knows the menace trick. But he doesn't know how... F oh, yeah, I've got a creature with reach. Never mind. I don't know how flying works. <laughs> you got me that time. All right. Six mana. Here we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Gonna be a tough one. He draws a land. He activates Shrieker. What's he gonna do with it? Well, I've got to keep the clock slow. So, I don't have any choice but to do this play. Sad. <laughs> I don't really want to pay the life for the Westvale Abbey at this point in the game. But, see ya, winning. Can't really go down to a one-turn clock. So I still have my Death Toucher, which means he can't get at me with Thought Knot. And I still have four turns to accumulate four creatures in my 30-creature deck. Oh, look what I drew. <laughs> um, Man, this actually... Uh, I need one more mana to actually make this good. But, oh well. Plant token. Maybe it'll draw some fire from the flyer. Maybe it'll draw some fire. But it could be good if we... Uh, if, if Nissa lives... It could try to pull us kicking and screaming back into this hideous uh, game that we're in. All you dead elves. All this hand destruction. Ugh. So sad. <laughs> Alright, what's it gonna be, Superstar? How long can you take with your turn to make these plays? What will happen to me? And who will you attack? Choices, choices, choices. He's attacking Nyssa. He's attacking Nyssa when I'm at 8 life with an Ormondal Abbey on the table. Okie dokie. Oh, he's coming for me. Good job. I was wondering if he'd actually remember that. If he takes long enough, he'll figure it out. Although he never, you know, we're, we're still going to pick on him. He should have won a long time ago. Kalita's Languish, dude. It's a combo. It's a good combo. All right, Nissa, that's not the card I wanted to draw at all. <laughs> Boo. All right, get out there. Let's see if he wants to attack his Thought Not Seer into a Hissing Quagmire. Although it's tempting to just chump block it again with the plant and make a creature with the Abbey. Um... Hmm. Yeah, no point. You got me. And I go down to six. Yuck. You're going to try to kill me with, with, with witness the end? <laughs> Boo. And anybody who wants to say his dedicated discard deck is looking really good, trust me, it's not. What's going to win this game is Kalitas and Languish, which are cards that are fine whether you're playing discard spells or not. Here comes the attack. Nissa goes to one. 
Anything else? Jeez, oh, Pete's. Uh, it's a grind fest. It's a grindy, grindy game. But we're making dudes. We're gonna make some dudes. Alright. Make me a plant. Play a Sylvan Advocate for the reprisal. You know, because that's what's gonna happen. Pass the turn. Let's see how long he thinks about his play this time. Ah, oh, he's going right to attacks. He's he's emboldened now. He's figured something out and he likes it. Alrighty. All right. What else you got? Anything? Something? A lot of cards doing nothing. Um. Play this first main. And let's see here. I will advocate and see if he's got something for it. I'm expecting a celestial flare or something. I don't know what cards he's keeping. It's really weird. And if he has a flare, I want his hand, but does not. Okie dokie. Our opponent doing thing. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. He's back in trouble a little bit. He's got Obnixilus. Okay. Jolly old Obnixilus. Lean your ear this way. Don't you tell a single soul. Uh, yawns. Yep, you got it. You got the advocate. You better kill something else, though. You better kill something else. Attacks? Both of them. Um, alright. Now, if I uh, power up Hissing Quagmire and block his Thought Not Seer, then I can still top deck a uh, land, an untapped land, of which there are like 15 in the deck, and activate uh, Westvale Abbey. So that's what we're going to go for. We'll have two draws at an untapped land. One. Fail. <laughs> Two, fail. Um, let's see now. That's worth one, two, three, four, five damage. And I can do four to him. Can't quite kill him. Let's see what the top of the deck shows us. I don't know why we are still in this game, but we are. All right. You'll just need a way to deal me one more damage. We also know he plays discard spells, so I should probably just drop the shaman now. But then I don't have a surprise, like, um, play for next turn. One, two, three, four, then he can block one, two, three, four. Doesn't do enough. Alrighty. Well, we know he runs discard spells, so this might be a mistake, but let's see what happens. K 
can can he finish the job? Languish. <laughs> oh my god. This guy. This guy. All right. I guess I should have done it. Uh, but he drew both languish. I mean, what am I supposed to do? Oh my lord. Why not just double languish? Now he's got to figure out how to deal one more damage. <laughs> Gideon. Yes. That's something. I mean, that's a card. This guy is the leet sauce, you guys. I mean, we are being, we are just outmatched and outgunned here today. <laughs> oh my lord, what a, like, I can't believe we have an elf deck taking this long. Um, that's not going to do it. <sighs> Shoot him down. Let's see, if I had played, he'd be at 2 right now. No, he'd be at 3 right now. Well, then he couldn't attack with everything. Why wouldn't he emblem his Gideon? He's done everything else dramatically wrong. <laughs> and it doesn't matter, because we're playing the absolute dumbest deck we could find. Which is elves. And I don't, I like coexist isn't even. And such a waste. Uh. All right. Did it. Evolution. Gary. Black, white, control owned. Absolute loss. And uh, let, we'll try to get one elves. How long? Have not that one. All right. We'll try to get one more with uh, the worst elf deck we could possibly find and see what we can do. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh. Yeah, so double languish Kalitas. That's a pretty tough. That's a tough draw, if you're an elf player. That's that's kind of hard to beat, and we still almost did. We kind of, like, I mean, though he played so badly, though we didn't deserve that game at any point based on the draws, based on the play. He didn't deserve it either. There was just no, there was no winning. There was just no way to win. <laughs> no winners that game. And that's okay. We don't all get to win can't win them all. Whatever cliche you want to throw on it to make it feel different. <laughs> do, 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 do. Here we go. It's the Nighthawk Avatar. And he also is in Gondor. So, to Gondor we ride. The host of Rivendell to conquer the Gondorian peeps. If he's playing humans, it would be really um, flavorful, but that don't look like no human. I mean, that, that don't look like no human at all under there. All right. Hey, another 39. Let's see what he's back. What, what he's got. What he's bringing to us, is it double languish? Uh, sure. What could go wrong? <laughs> Alright, of course we drew both Evolving Wilds, so that our lands enter the battlefield tapped, because that's, you know, that's the way it goes. You put two Westvales in your ab abbeys in your deck, you'll draw two Westvale abbeys. You put two Evolving Wilds, you draw two Evolving Wilds. Uh-oh, he's already got two-two. This here is a problem. 
and he's rocking some Sunblade of his own. Uh, let's put out the... Is it going to be a recruiter type game? I don't think it's a recruiter game. I think recruiter has to come out later. Think, think, think. And recruiter can come out now. Yeah, I saw your me message, and I'm not trying Valor in this deck. The only reason for the white is to pump the Sunblade and uh, pump the critters. Valor is a silly thing to do. I've, I've, tr I've played like 19 variations of Valor in Akros decks in the last season. And at this point, it's an old card. I like new cards. I like Gitrog Monsters. Let's, let's talk about that. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Okie dokes. Let's see if he wants to trade. Nope, he doesn't. He's content to be super aggro. Let's go make sure we have another green source for our Lissalana, and then that Evolving Wilds will get us another black source in a minute. Alrighty. Uh, bring it on. Let's see what kind of pump he can do. And yeah, we run Getrog in here, Siege Dragon. We sure do. Boom. Deck list. Boom. <laughs> Alrighty, damage is fine. Titanic Growth. Yeah! Of course. Or not. Or maybe. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. <laughs> We're not going to beat two Titanic Growths no matter what we do. Unless we draw like Dwinnin off the top right now. So there's no point in blocking otherwise. Or making any other funny blocks. In fact, we don't even beat one more pump spell. Hallelujah. Um, if we flip, eh, eh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All the dead. All kinds of dead. But we'll make him, we'll make him have the answers. Uh, it's just a race, you guys. If he has another one, it's over, because this deck only has one mode. And when you build a deck that only has one mode and you lose, you can't even be mad. It's like, it's my fault. I played elves with no removal. <laughs> I played elves with no instants, no sorceries, no spells, none of that. Just creatures. Creatures, creatures, creatures. That's all it is. I mean, there you go. He's got a wild... Like, what are we still playing magic for? <laughs> uh, so this pile of crap that I call elves, that I always rip on, is now dead. Thank God. And Coexist can never ask me to play it anymore, because I did, and he wasn't here. So that's it's over. It's over for the elves. <laughs> uh, now we can go play something. Uh, now we can go play a real deck. But first, let's have a ceremony. Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. 